Hello and welcome, this is Silvan Etler, your sales and applications engineer for optical reflective encoder ICs here at IC House. Today I'd like to quickly demonstrate how easy it is to set up the latest addition to our optical reflective encoder IC family, the high resolution absolute IZPZ series. So what we have here is the evaluation kit um, that is mounted onto the fixture. We have a drive here and then we have a BIS to USB adapter that goes right into the PC and we have a demonstration software running here which is based on RDLL. So what I'm doing now is aligning the sensor towards the code disk and therefore I'm pushing the fixture which is pretty loose right now as you can see above the code disk all by eye very roughly and then when I think it's it's all right I'm tightening the screws and for a bit of a fine adjustment I'm looking at the alignment marks printed onto the evaluation board and then uh, use the manipulator here and try to find the right spot all by eye because the system provides really huge assembly and adjustment tolerances and when I've done that, last thing I'm doing is looking at air gap and I'm roughly uh, aiming at two millimeters. All by eye, um, we have one millimeter flexibility in air gap, so that's a lot. And last thing I'm doing then is starting the on-chip calibration features. And we have the analog calibration that compensates for phase offset and amplitude of the analog signals so that the internal 14-bit interpolator is fed with high signal quality. I'm turning on the motor, driving at any speed and then start to calibrate. Auto calibration is done completely on chip and when I've done that we have the digital auto calibration that compensates for misalignment and phase offset between incremental and pseudo random track. And this is also done on chip. And when I've done both of those calibration functions, signal quality is fine. We have the eccentricity correction that compensates for up to 95% of radial runout error. So I've just glued the disc on the hub by eye, so there's a certain amount of radial runout for sure. And I'm acquiring the radial runout here. I'm seeing roughly 100 microns radial runout error. And that is pretty nicely seen when looking at the ABZ output. So with eccentricity correction turned off, there's a certain amount of jitter. And when I'm Turning it on, signals are staple. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any further questions, feel free to contact me via email or phone. Thanks.